Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I am so excited to bring this segment to you. I did, this is what we're going to be doing. Have a look at this. This I did for a commission a number of years ago for a, I don't know what it was, but it was for the cover of a magazine and they wanted a Monet that, so this is a Monet printier, for those who don't know about the Impressionist painters, and they wanted the whole thing covered in petals. This, I want you to know, was like floral art meditation. It was a beautiful, beautiful process and I absolutely loved it. So it's been sitting around, sitting around for ages and ages, waiting for me to get to it so that I could share it with you. And when you look at it from a distance, it actually does look like a Monet. Now, all of these little petals here were all of, you know how I work with silk flowers all the time and little petals fall off. Because I'm into waste not, want not, I keep all of those little petals. So I want to show and share how to do it and it is such, as I said, I'm really excited about it and it's such a lovely process. So this is what you need. First of all, you need to get yourself a print. Now this is a Monet, I'm not sure what, I think this is called the Blue Water Lilies. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But what I did was I got um, a poster and I've just mounted that onto a heavy bit of card. Now I will be showing you how to do mounting and things like this in due course, but pretty much all I've done is got the heavy card and then just some spray adhesive, which I just sprayed all over the top. Then I laid the print on top of it and it, all, it also had like, I think it was a border of about four inches all around it. So I just laid it onto the card as it was. And then once I, then the next thing that you do is you just use a rolling pin and you just roll that across there to make sure that you get no little wrinkles or bumps. And I know that I'm being a little bit fussy about things like that, but the foundations are really what's going to make your work look good, whether it's flowers or sewing or whatever, you know, the prep. And as they say, the devil is in the detail. So just make sure that that's all neat and and no little bubbles or wrinkles in it. Okay, now from there, you also need to get a whole selection of silk flowers. Now, I've got access to them, but I know that there are lots of places. If you can't find any flowers, go onto Amazon and have a look in there um, to see what you can find. So pretty much when I'm selecting my flowers, I just lay them on top of my print as I've done here and just look at the colorways, you know, so that you've got, you know, like a lovely comp, these colors here are going to pick up what's underneath it. And it's sort of like, let's just say that this is the 21st version of paint by numbers, except you're going to be using colored petals. Perfect. Now, I know that there are some really lovely water colors out there and little sets that I will try and see if I can track them down. But if you can't get the colours that you want, you can get these really lovely sets and you could perhaps hand colour all of your little petals as you go. And I'm looking down into here and, and these little water lilies, in fact, I'll just lift that up a minute. So when I look into here, I can see these little um, pops of colour down there. So to do those, I've got those little berries. So it doesn't matter whether you're using flowers or berries or leaves or whatever, as long as you've got that colorway, it's going to sort of like help too with your textures, build a beautiful picture. And I've also got some little, if I didn't want to use those, I've got, I did find those little rose petal, rose heads there, but I think that they're not the right color. So by using the berries, I, and I can see in here that, and I'll just show you what I mean by this. And this is the, the loveliest part about the whole process because you can just sort of like spend a bit of time trying to pick up all your colors before you go so when I look at this here and look at down there those when they're all glued and fixed onto this are going to just be reflected and pick up that that color way that Monet's done quite beautifully so all I've got all of my flowers here all ready to go and the other thing that you will need is either a glue gun and for those of you who know what my glue gun looks like, I will show you how to clean one of these. Feeling very happy about myself that I've worked out how to do that. So you can either use the glue gun or you can use one of these and this is a glue pot. I really love these for this type of work because it's pretty much just a dip 
and fix, dip and fix, so you don't have to be picking up your glue gun and fixing, putting the glue onto it and then putting it down, so it's really easy. Now when you buy these, they come with, now I don't have any left, but pretty much it's just the high-low high glue, and you can buy these high-low sticks, so if you're stuck for the little wee, um, I don't know what they are, they're like little wee sort of like granular things that you can just put into, you can just stick in. But just by cutting up these and then just put those into there and then that will just um, melt your glue. Little tip, word of warning from me, this gets seriously, seriously hot. I do have a burn from yesterday when I was using it. If you do burn yourself and you're new to the glue gun, what I suggest you do is to have a bowl of icy water beside you. If you get any burns don't use the other hand and try and pick it off just put it straight into the cold water and wait until it's cooled down and then pick the glue off trust me it's the best way okay to start with and I'm not going to bother you know go through the whole thing because you can see with what I've done here that underneath it's just been a series of it's just pretty much like gluing all the petals on top of each other so you're very smart, you'll know how to, use, how to do this. But pretty much it's just, I started, when I do it, I start in, um, well we write from left to right, don't we? So starting in the top left hand corner and working your way down and across as you go. Just It just makes it working much easier. Um, if you've got a really light, light background and it's going to take a long, you're going to be spending a lot of time on your project or you're not going to get it finished, just use a piece of parchment paper or baking paper over this your surface so that your hand's not actually laying any kind of markings down. So to begin, let's just look at what we've got here and I've got some bluey bits and I've got some pinky bits. I can see some pinky lavender bits there. Is this one here going to be the best one to use? Maybe it is. So it's just a matter. So that there, I'm going to fix that little petal up into that corner, just pulling that off there. Now I need my glasses. Oh, oh, where's my glasses? Where did I put my glasses? Here they are. Oh, I need my glasses. This is very fine work for old ladies with glasses that don't quite work. Oh my goodness, it looks so much better when you've got your glasses on. So just a matter of just rolling that in like so and then just applying the tiniest little bit of glue and then just taking that over and fixing that down onto there. Now I know that it's taken up a little bit too much room as you can see there. So what you can do is, I'm going to cut that bit there off and then, so it's just lots and lots and lots of little layers of little flowers until, and then when you get to here, just sort of like push that little petal there up out of the way so that, and I'll do another one quick, quick, quick because I really love it. And what I need you to know is that I can't go any further than what I'm doing now because what happens is, I get so lost in it that I forget that you're there and like I'll just be here for hours and hours and hours just mucking around doing this. So just take that little bit there and just give it a wee roll around like that because if the glue's not quite as hot as it should be, you get like things that look like little spider webs and then that just goes into there like that and you just keep going until you have completely covered your print like I have done over here. And I'm telling you, you're just going to so love it for those girls who want artwork in their home that they've done themselves. Ta -da, perfect solution. Hope you've enjoyed that. Now I have to get back to this because I think I'm going to be here lost in petals for many, many hours. Happy crafting everyone and I'll see you again another day. Mm -hmm.